Hi there, I'm Ryan Castle here with my friend Patrick Pallas from PallasLaw.com. Patrick, uh, what do you say we uh, we take this to the uh, the coffee shop? I have my Hall and Oates coffee cup ready to go. I've got my uh, my Hawaiian turtles. Let's let's do this. Go. Okay, Patrick, I want to talk a little bit about settling your car damage claim, right? Oh, yeah. you, you banged up your car. Yep. Uh, step one here is to gather information, right? Yeah, it is. Uh, and there's a number of things you can do, like from getting your registration, the make and model of your car, get the information together, maybe pictures uh, that you've taken of the damage to your car, get it all together because you're going to need that as you progress. Right. Next up. Contact your insurance company. Contact your insurance company. You really want your insurance company to fix your car because they have a higher duty to uh, do what's right for you. If you contact the defendant's insurance carrier, uh, they may give you a lower value. They may not play ball. They may say, forget it. They don't have the same obligations to take care of you. Um, with your insurance company, you may pay a deductible, but guess who's going to pay it back? They the defendant's insurance yeah. company, so, yeah. you, so you get it back, so don't worry about it. So contact your insurance company and work through uh, them and give them the information that they ask to get your car fixed. And file that claim. File that claim. Yeah. So now I need to go get an estimate to get my stuff fixed, right? You do. And this system is changing so quickly. It used to be you had to drive into a place to get a physical estimate. These days, a lot of the companies will let you take a picture of your car. And as long as they know the make and model and year and miles, they can make the decision uh, online. Sometimes with more damage, you do have to bring it in. And so you bring it in uh, and let them uh, get an estimate for you for what it takes to get your car fixed. Or have them tow it in. Or have <laughs> your car. Yeah, yes, yeah, right? tow it in anyway. Yeah. <laughs> um, negotiate. That one can be challenging yeah. if you don't know what you're doing there. Um, they're going to pick a value for their car that they say this is what your car is worth. How do you know if that's right? How do you keep them honest? Um, one of the quickest ways is to use the blue book and to figure out what the value is uh, or go online and see what other cars your make and model and mileage are and see what the value sure. of that car is. That'll give you a basis to help uh, negotiate and get a, a fair market value out of uh, your car. If your car is totaled, yeah. right? Yeah. Which is when you're really negotiating uh, that kind of value. If it's a matter of just negotiating what the repairs are going to be done, a lot of that's pretty decided by the shop who's going to repair it, and you just need to hold the shop to make sure they do the quality work that, that you want done and that you don't have to take that car back until you're satisfied that they did it right. So now that we've negotiated, um, we come to the point where uh, we're going to settle settlement, right? Yeah, and, and that's coming to that final agreement about if your car is totaled, what they're going to pay you. Um, and again, that looks at the blue book and the number of miles and what the value of your car is in, as you look at online with CarMax or one of those companies and see what comparable prices are on the market. And then you get the best possible price that you can. And if they tell you something really terrible, well, you can contact an attorney and see if they'll help, although it's hard to find attorneys just to do property cases. But we give advice for people, and if you need advice, we can give it to you. And then get your car fixed. Right, last get step, your, get your car fixed. Get your car <laughs> fixed, right? Get it fixed, drive it home. Uh, I will tell you this, though, that there are often times that you will need a rental car in the process, and they'll put the car, car on your credit card, and you have to be careful because they won't pay forever. They'll pay for a short period of time. The sooner you get that rental car back, the better off you'll be. Don't assume just because your car is not out of the shop that they're still paying your car. Check with your carrier. See how long your coverage is. Make sure that every day you have the rental car, it's actually being paid for because they have your credit card. They're going to charge you. They're going to get paid no matter what. That is an unpleasant surprise. <laughs> that is an unpleasant yeah. surprise. So be smart. Buyer beware. And uh, if it takes long to repair your car, then your insurance company is going to pay for your rental, turn your rental back, and, uh, um, and hope that your car gets back quickly to repair it. All right. If you have questions, you can always call us at Palace Law. We're there to answer questions and help people any way you need. If you're involved in a, in a car collision, if you've been injured, if you have damage to your vehicle, let us know. We're there to help you any way we can. And if you're looking for a great place to get tacos, then you can call me. <laughs> <laughs>